Made in Manchester. Made in Manchester. We are Gadio. Gadio. Despite last year's Supreme Court ruling on not sending LGBT asylum seekers back to countries where they face persecution, we have still, still seen countless cases where LGBT asylum seekers have been on the verge of deportation back to homophobic countries of origin, only to win last minute reprieves thanks to high profile campaigns. Why is this still happening? Adrian. I thought that might come to me first for some reason. Um, I have to say that I, I'm not happy. This is, this is a coalition agreement within the coalition agreement. And it's something we both our parties, Conservatives and Liberal Democrats, agree upon. And yet, there are cases which I, in my role as chair of LGBT plus Liberal Democrats, regularly write to the Home Office, regularly have to take calls about pending cases which are going off and which are not being stopped. And I'm afraid there was one just this week where someone has been deported to Uganda um, and shouldn't, it should not have happened. It's as simple as that. And though I know that our, both our parties are working that this rule should be enforced, I'm not happy because it's not being completely enforced. And therefore, I will continue to work with all those cases that, that are in progress to make sure this, doesn't, this does not happen. But I'm, I'm afraid it is not a perfect system. James? Uh, uh, it's a rotten system. Yeah. Um, and I think part of the problem is all parties are pretty rotten on dealing with asylum and being able to discuss it properly, not just on LGBT issues, but across the board, um, and run a bit scared of it. And certainly my party wasn't very good on it in terms of dealing with it. Um, we did have discussions with them, and there were some bits of progress made, but nowhere near enough. Uh, I, think, I think there's also an issue around um, education of civil servants and people who implement the rules and the regulations um, and that isn't done properly and that needs to be done as well but I think there's a, across the board there is a there's a need for all parties to be better on this and frankly have an honest discussion about it which I don't think we ever get. Thank you Claire. Um, yeah I think uh, there's a problem at the border with the border agency staff um, there's an organization in Manchester um, called the Lesbian Immigration Project it gets lesbians from all over the place, from Stoke, Leicester, wherever coming for sport. It's, it's run by volunteers, okay? They get very little money. I think Pride gave them some money, Manchester Pride gave them some money last year. Um, but the stories of the women are that they get to the border agency and they have to prove that they have been forcibly raped. And that is how somehow they manage to get into the country. I don't know, they're asked that sort of a question. I just think we really have a long way to go with this. And it really does need to go to the heart of government. We're saying that politicians have hearts. It really has to go to the heart of government to look at this very seriously. Thank you, Matthew. I think it is a very serious um, issue and the fact is that the asylum system is in absolute chaos as far as I can see um, and that, you know over the last 10 years there have been numerous people who've been able to claim asylum completely falsely and there have been a lot of people who would actually benefit from um, asylum, genuine asylum, who haven't been able to get that asylum as a result of the system. So I think from my point of view, you know, I think the whole system really needs to be reformed root and branch so that we do give the asylum to those people who really need it. Um, it is a difficulty when you have to make people prove things, as Claire said, but I think, you know, it has to be sorted out. Um, and it, these, these cases are going to continue to happen unless the whole system is sorted out, I think. So I think it's down to sorting out the whole of the asylum system.